Ali. Welcome to my channel. I'm having a lazy day today because I woke up with a bit of a sore throat. So I thought I would just crochet again in my room because I'm back home for the holidays. I'm planning on making a pair of leg warmers and I've been seeing these super cute crochet earmuffs all over the internet so I want to try my hand at it. I found like a spare hairband that I could choose and some pink yarn so I'm really excited for those because I'm really obsessed with earmuffs right now and I can't wait to skate with them. So, the progress I have made. I started with like this chorus unraveled yarn as I usually like to use. I'm making very long leg warmers for my mom. She wants them to go like a whole leg so they're pretty long. I'm using a six millimeter hook for this. I'm planning on just like staying in my room the entire day because honestly even though it's holiday I have had to do schoolwork because I am in film school and there's no such thing as a break in film school. But basically what I'm doing to make these leg warmers are I did 55 foundation half double crochets and then I'm just doing the back stitch only with half double crochets and then I don't really have a pattern, I'm just kind of winging it like I always do but I'm just hoping it works out. I feel like this is kind of a foolproof way to make leg warmers but if you guys want an in-depth tutorial after I figure it out, let me know. I am hoping, every year I'm like, oh I'm gonna post once or twice a week and all of that and then I always slack towards the end of the year. There's a lot of things coming up in 2023 that I'm excited to share with you guys and I don't even know if it's gonna happen or not but I'm just putting it out there on the internet and manifesting it into my life so I'm gonna talk as if it's 100% gonna happen but still I'm not sure. The new Ginny and Georgia season came out today so I'm going to be bending that while I crochet I was obsessed with the first season and I honestly, I don't think it's like the best show ever obviously but it's addicting. It's like Korean dramas for me. I love Korean dramas. If you are into them, I recommend watching Alchemy of Souls because the second part recently came out and the finale is coming out this weekend so I'm so excited for that. This year I'm not really gonna make New Year's resolutions, like I do have purpose for everything I'm doing and I do want to improve myself but I feel like setting these unrealistic resolutions for myself really doesn't help so I'm kind of just playing it by ear and not really expecting anything. I'm just going to chill this year, let everything run its course because I, my number one focus for this year is trying to be more calm and not get stressed about tiny things that will just be over in a week because I think it's just so pointless and I've gotten so many white hairs last year like I, I just like looked at my scalp and I'm like I, uh, there's probably like 20 white hairs and I don't know if it's genetics or it's genuinely from the stress that I give myself but it's not okay I don't want to be having to dye my roots black at 21 years old that's like the number one thing I'm gonna focus on. This year I'm graduating from university. I can't believe that. And I'm also going to move to Korea. Yeah, I'm moving to Korea for hopefully nine months if everything goes to plan. Which is why I'm saying like, I'm just gonna manifest everything into my life. I'm gonna live in a country. Oh no, it's not By myself and hopefully make friends there. I don't really, I'm half Korean, but I don't really have family in Korea. Most people live in Canada that I know. I'm sure I have like some kind of family there, but none that I ever met. But I'm honestly not that nervous. I feel like it's so far into the future, but I know it's gonna come soon and I'm just taking the plunge because I've always wanted to learn Korean but never really had the self-discipline to do it so I'm hoping to go to an actual school there and learn and because I suck at Korean right now I'm taking Korean lessons online so hopefully that will give me a base to be able to survive by myself in Korea and I know that in Korea there's like tons of really good yarn and it's actually pretty cheap there I believe so I'm so excited to go yarn shopping in Korea and bring you guys along with me 
Oh my goodness. Tangled yarn, my enemy. I also want to switch up the style of my videos because I had a long hiatus and a long period of laziness. I think I just didn't enjoy how my videos looked aesthetically and I feel like filming in this room is, I don't know, I love my paintings. I have more that I need to hang up, but I just love the paintings in the background and I don't have that back in my Toronto apartment. So I'm hoping to either bring these over there or just paint more because I do have paint over there and just spice up my videos and make them just more relaxing and calming because and just more entertaining i don't know i just want to improve them and put more effort in but i feel like no matter what the new year's always gives me energy because it feels like a new start where i can kind of just put everything that happened last year in the past and start fresh and forgive myself for any mistakes i've made things i want to change about myself it's just it's just a refreshing start. I'm sure it is for most people. I'm going to speed this process up because it's very repetitive. So this is the finished leg warmers, but I still need my mom to try them on to see if they actually fit. But I think this is basically what it's gonna be. It shrunk a lot, like it started this long and then once I started crocheting, it became pretty short, but we'll see how it looks on my mom. Ooh. So the next project I have is, I've been seeing all these crochet earmuffs and I love earmuffs, so I wanted to try my hand at one, but I wanna make it star shaped. So I started experimenting with star shapes and i'm using this kind of like towel material i think it's like the blanket yarn by bernat um but it keeps uh, so chunky that it keeps going like this i just found this old hairband laying around so i'm just gonna use it with this i think i'm going to redo this one but this is basically the gist of what i'm gonna do um i keep messing up so i'm just gonna redo it from the beginning um so i'm starting with like a magic ring if you guys want a tutorial on this if this turns out successful too let me know it may be a day of successful projects i don't know yet so succeeded love it Ooh, okay three more to go <laughs> only three more to go <gasps> I love it look like a for the headband I think we'll just do single crochets across the entire thing I'm not really sure 
I'm gonna start at one end. I just did a slip knot. This is the headband after I've covered it in pink yarn. I need to do this with Kiowa? Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm just gonna make three more of it and show you when I finish assembling it all. This is what I have so far. I've just like single crocheted around the entire perimeter and I'm leaving a hole here. So I have some stuffing and I'm just gonna stuff it. Ah! <laughs> stuff it in. Looks so cute. I kind of think as long as I stuff it into the corners enough, I think this will look fine because it's kind of sticking out. Got to stuff it into the corners well. And then I have this, so maybe I could just like stick it in. Ah! Super cute! So I'm going to just stick it in. Put the remaining stuffing in around it. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Okay. I think it's a bit too stuffed in the middle. Yeah, I need a little less stuffing. Okay, so I just finished doing the little um, attachment for each star. And basically what I'm gonna do is just stick it in to the headband. And once I like the placement, I'm just going to crochet it in here. Yes. Oh my god, so cute. So I decided against putting any fluff in it because it's just they're too puffy already. That I feel like if you look at the width of these two, this one's only kind of wider because of the fur, but like overall, they're kind of the same. So, uh, it's so freaking cute! <laughs> I am going to attach them and then I'm going to show you the finished part. I just attached the little stars to the headband and I think it turned out so cute. It's a little uneven and lopsided, but this is the first one I've ever made, so I think it's pretty cute. And I find the trick is just to squish the inside in so it has a little curve on the outside. But they are super cute and I'm sure they're gonna be cozy and they fit my ear shape perfectly so I'm definitely gonna make these in so many more different colors I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you want a tutorial on it and I'll talk to you in my next video bye thanks for watching